why did AppRite use terms like documents and collections for its database, and why the switch now to tables and rows? Well, in the early days, AppRite had its own document-like implementation. So while the database under the hood was a MariaDB database, this was our version of a simplified database without all the complexity of a NoSQL or a traditional relational database. And at the time, this met the needs of the developers that we were serving. And as AppRite grew in popularity, we began to see developers use it more like a traditional relational database. And as projects grew in complexity, this was now a requirement. So we added features like relationships and better database queries and so on. So while the features that we added started to resemble more of a traditional relational database, we still kept our original terminology because of our JSON-based API, which resembled our original NoSQL-like implementation. There eventually came a point where the terminology just started confusing new developers and actually became a bottleneck. So in simple terms, we outgrew our original offering and needed to meet the developer's expectations. So we saw this as the obvious path forward, and it also makes it easier to implement all the features we plan to add and support in the future.